the fab 60s are being revisited on stage with the Broadway hit musical Hairspray in town. And Jane Riley, uh, it looks like you've got into the swing of things there. Look at you, you've gone all retro on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Beck, I look so different, I barely recognise myself. I'm on the stage of the Arts Theatre with the cast of Hairspray, the premiere of the show here in South Australia. It's here at this theatre till the 14th of July, then it moves to the Shedley Theatre at Elizabeth from July the 19th. It's a great show, suitable for the whole family. It's got a sizzling score, great costumes and the biggest hairdos in town. <laughs> in case you're wondering, this isn't my real hair. Okay, checking out the extreme weather photograph tonight and it is a stunning shot. It was taken by Luke O'Connell. Luke took the shot of the sun setting behind the Wallaroo jetty and on the screen now is the address to send your photos to. Well a little warmer for us today. The temperature got up to 15 degrees after a low last night of 7 and currently outside it's 12 degrees but here in the theatre it's lovely and warm. <laughs> for the outer metropolitan area today just 11 degrees at Mount Barker and 15 in the other centres. Around our state today 15 at Mount Gambia, 13 at Maitland and 18 degrees at Roxby Downs. Interstate today, there were showers in Sydney and another cold night for the folks in Canberra and over in Perth. Looking at the satellite photograph, most of the country is cloud free and that's why we're getting the chilly weather at night. This is due to a large high pressure system. You can see some low cloud over the southeast. This is due to an onshore airstream. And a cloud band associated with a cold front is approaching southwest Western Australia, and we'll see something from that by the middle of next week. On the charts, a strong high centred near Mount Gambia is moving slowly eastwards, producing fine and sunny days and cold and frosty nights. Temperatures will slowly rise as the winds tend northeasterly. And the greatest likelihood of rain tomorrow will be over the bottom tip of Western Australia and also right down along the east coast of the continent. Interstate tomorrow, showers in Brisbane, Sydney and Perth, fog in Melbourne and it should be fine in the other major centres. For our state tomorrow, a foggy start to the day in Keith for the top of 14, sunny and 14 at Victor Harbour and a very pleasant 17 degrees at Port Augusta. For the outer metropolitan area, 14 degrees for Murray Bridge, Glenelg and Elizabeth. On local waters, east and northeasterly winds at just 5 to 10 knots and seas below half a metre. Now the state forecast for tonight, it is going to be pretty frosty with a frost warning for the upper and lower southeast, the mid-north, the Mount Lofty Ranges, Murray Lands and also in the Riverland as well. Looking at Adelaide, We've even got light frost forecast for Adelaide, but then tomorrow it will become fine and sunny later on in the day. Now tonight chilling down to just three degrees and a top tomorrow of 14. Looking ahead, our best weekend in a long time. Sunny with a top of 14 on Saturday, partly cloudy and 16 on Sunday. And then by Monday, a bit of a heat day for us with 17 degrees. And by Tuesday, our sunny weather will turn to rain and then it will be showers right up until Thursday. So make the most of the wonderful fine sunny weather that we've got uh, forecast over the next four days and try we love you jane <laughs> oh my goodness i'm going to blush <laughs> they are a fun cast here at hairspray at the arts theater don't miss the show and remember it's going out to elizabeth on the 19th of july back to you beck i want to be blonde <laughs> see you thank you jane behave yourself get it behave good night